All right, Chris. So you had uh, you had a couple teams that uh, played today. Three teams. So tell me what was, what was the experience like for you to to obviously you put these teams together, mm -hmm. and you know you saw one win a championship. But the, the the other one, I didn't get to see the final result. Mm -hmm. But what was that experience like for you? Uh, just just seeing all the kids grow. I've been with uh, that black squad, and I've been with that gold squad for almost six months now. So just seeing them growing from what they are what they were to what they are now. They're thinking a little different, they're a little bigger, a little faster, a little stronger. So it was just good to see them and doing their thing out there. Now you, obviously you've been doing this for a little bit, taking to coaching and everything, but this was a, kind of a big deal to have like a big tournament like this. You, yeah. it, you got teams from different states to come in here. Mm -hmm. What is, what is, why is that so important to you to be able to, to do something like this? And what does it mean to be able to give what you your expertise to the community? Uh, one of the teams came from Indianapolis and uh, they uh, came and fought hard. And uh, what they did was uh, came down and wanted to see a couple. They wanted to see the oh, they wanted to see the facility. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to uh, give everybody a chance to play. It was a free event. Uh, Michigan, um, well, another fellow Michigan um, athlete. Uh, yeah, he used to play back in the day. It was All America. He played in the Rose Bowl. He. Uh, he donated some money and uh, for the kids to my nonprofit, and we got the ball rolling, and we got to do this event for free. Mm -hmm. uh, what, that, wow, what, what, what has made it so you've personally been able to to do these types of, you know, to be able to coach? Because you know, you always see like some people know football. Mm -hmm. You know, they play football. They don't necessarily know football. You clearly you know football. You're working with the guys on the offense and on the defense and everything. Mm -hmm. What? How have you gotten to this point? Uh, got to this point just by the love of it. My little brother, uh, I was went to I coached my little brother in high school, so uh, just got to the point where I went to be an uh, older brother figure to some a uh, couple couple of the kids, and got a couple kids from Lansing, Battle Creek, Detroit, and just I just want to spread the love as many people as I could. Now, really quickly on the on the other side of of things, you are still obviously at Michigan. You've not only have you gotten significantly bigger. We keep on hearing things about how Coach Herbert's made everyone just seemed bigger and even faster is that seem to be the case for for you bigger, stronger faster smarter mm -hmm. more mentally focused locked in now what's what's made the mental focus and locked in part what's little things attention to detail mm -hmm. big. so you big on attention to detail to to how your locker how your locker look to to how you you squat and, to, and then trans transitions over to life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now Karan's another guy that's up as well uh I don't know if you know if that necessarily showed yet, or considering it's been the off season. What what is your you two have been in lockstep both on the field? You both coached here mm -hmm. together today as well. What's it like working with Kron, and what where have you seen him grow both on the field as well as off? Obviously, uh, since he was here coaching. A little more as a leader. He's always been a leader, but he's he's grown as a leader. He's grown as a as a, as, as, as being a teammate. Uh, a step up. Well, as soon as he gets the uh, bell call, he always answers. Uh, just going out here, we was cooperating. Uh, we ain't having no disagreements. You know what I'm saying? We was working together in tandem. He brought his, some of his, his his little cousin and uh, his little brother up here. And they was up here. They had a good time. They came from Florida. So all that stuff, that's about it. Now, last thing I have for you is I keep on hearing the name True Wilson mm -hmm. brought up. Is is the hype legit? The hype's and legit. What, what have you seen from True? Locked in, attention to detail, run pass, catch pass, bro. All that. You just see his focus. He's locked in. He's making the plays that that you go like, wow, you know what I'm saying? All he needs is a shot, literally. Awesome, man. Thank you. Yes, sir.